Welcome to Talmudic Treasures. Today we're learning Kedushin page 45, which discusses a situation where a man was sitting next to his friend and they happened to be drinking some wine together and one of them came up with a great idea. He said, let me give you some wine and let my child be married to your child. I have a son, you have a daughter, let's marry them off. Now, in this situation, even though it's true that possibly the boy or the groom is interested in this relationship, the reality is we say this is not a valid marriage. This is not a valid kedushin. Because the son himself would be the one who would actually go through the motions of marrying off this, this girl. And we cannot just assume that the father received consent from the son without knowing all the facts. And if we are unable to uncover those facts, so then we say it's not a valid marriage. On this, the Talmud asks a very fascinating question. It says, well, how come, since we've been studying so much about creating an agent, so possibly the son told the father, I want you to be my shliach. I want you to be my agent. Go and marry this girl on my behalf. So maybe it is a good marriage. Possibly, therefore, the son really did want this whole thing to begin with. And it was with the consent of the son. And therefore, it should work. And on this, the Talmud gives a very fascinating answer. The Talmud says, that cannot be. Lo chatsev inish l'shavi lavu shliach. No son would have the chutzpah, the arrogance, the lack of respect of appointing his father as an agent. A son would never do that. And therefore, we cannot possibly assume that that's the scenario where the son appointed the father as the agent, and therefore that's how it could be a valid marriage. But we see an unbelievable idea. The unbelievable level of respect. And it should be obvious, the level of respect. It's in the Ten Commandments. There is an obligation of honoring your father and your mother. And to the extent of honoring and respecting them includes this situation of not asking your parents to do things which could be degrading or something which is beneath them. In those days, having an agent doing your bidding, which you could have just done as easily yourself possibly, that's not something which a son would ever do to the father. So much so that we have no doubt it's not a valid marriage. A son would never show a lack of respect to the father. And how unfortunate that is. When you read this, how could it not pain you? When you hear all the stories of how children Unfortunately, of course, not all, but sometimes we hear stories of children who are absolutely disrespectful and rebellious and rude to their parents. On this, the Talmud says that's not something which took place. It was not something that was commonplace, certainly. So much so that they said that a person would never have the disrespect of even asking your, child, your father to be an agent for you teaches us the important lesson to not lose sight of showing respect for our parents and to also unfortunately recognize what's called the Aritas Hadoros, the changes of our generation to the generations pre preceding us, how people had a different respect for their elders, people had a different respect for their parents, for their educators, the teachers. Unfortunately, that doesn't exist to the same extent. Also, even nowadays, the police People don't even respect authority anymore, which is an unfortunate reality. Again, I'm not speaking on behalf of everyone, but this is an unfortunate reality that does exist in the time of the Talmud. It didn't.